<clears throat> hey YouTube, this is uh, part two of my radioactive collection. We're here. I'm going to be going over some of my radium samples. And now you're wondering why some of these are in bags, aren't you? Well, as you can see, this one has the screen lens, and this one doesn't. So the ones that do not have the lenses, I keep in bags or sealed, because otherwise a harmful radium dust could escape and give us all cancer. So just be careful handling old watches without lenses, or with them for that matter. Okay, so I'm going to start off with one of my weakest ones. This one is only about 60 counts per minute, measuring beta and gamma, so open the data shield. So it's spiking at just under 100 beta and gamma. Now close the beta shield. And so you'll see it's at less than a tenth of a milliroomkin per hour. And this one does not glow at night, unlike most of the others. So, put that aside. Now, for this one, open the shield, and immediately it maxes out the meter at times 1. So, we'll switch it to times 10, then gamma, and again, almost immediately it maxes out the scale, onto times 100. So it tends to stay at just under 10,000 counts per minute. Right now it's at 10 milliroomkins per hour. And now this one will also surprise you. I'll turn it back to times 1 and close the beta shield. Now, as you can see, it moves, the needle moves very slowly. Alright, so last time, with the beta and gamma, it got 10 milliroomkins per hour, and now it's getting less than 0.5 milliroomkins per hour of gamma rays. Okay, now this one's missing the hands. We'll measure it. Opening the shield. times one. Not nearly as fast as the other one, but maxes out the meter. Okay, so move it to times ten. And this one seems to stay at just about one milliroomkin per hour. Back to times one, close the beta shield, put it back on there. And from gamma rays, we're getting practically nothing here. Okay, move that one over. This one does have a lens, but it kind of shakes on the inside. At least see it on camera. Oh, by the way, uh, I used this one in a school project. I had to do a book report on Mary Curie, but I didn't actually read the book because I already knew enough about her. 
and I just put that on my project. Alright, so times one, beta gamma. Oh, whoops, uh, accidentally closed the beta shield. Halfway. So it seems to be staying just above 0.2 millirunkens per hour, but not going above 3. So close the beta shield. And now it's staying just under 0.1 millirunkens per hour. So move this aside. Okay, so this one, I got my finger stuck in there, is an old alarm clock. Now, uh, with how some of these aren't very radioactive, some of them would actually be would still be safe to use, like as a wristwatch, or as this one as an alarm clock, if I don't have the key for it. Oh, and uh, just a disclaimer, I'm not encouraging you to or not to use any radium items and I'm not liable for how you may injure yourself. Just so I get that out there. So beta gamma is ringing at the most active spot here. And this one is rather low, just above 100 counts per minute. Making our weight between 130, 140, 160, I mean. Uh, so as you can see, this one kind of varies in radioactivity, but it hasn't gone above 0.3 millirunkens per hour. Now switching to gamma only. Now it stays under 0.1 millirunkens per hour. Well, as you can see, I cannot measure the whole thing. I can only measure a side of it and parts of the hands. As my hot dog probe only covers a fraction of it. Oh, this one is kind of cool. It kind of stands up on its own. There's a little clip there. Kind of neat. Oh, this one, uh, it's not strong enough to see it glow in the dark. But, uh, you can still use it. Oh, uh, by the way, in the dark, it's a very faint glow if you let your eyes adjust. Alright, so this one does not have a lens. So you gotta be easy on it. Okay, probe's open. This one is rather active. Okay, so somewhere around 0.5 millirunkens per hour. Now beta closed. It's staying under 0.1, just under 0.1 millirunkens per hour. Maybe a little lower. Oops, almost put my probe over there. Now this one, this is probably my most dangerous one because with the majority of the paint flaked off, it is still rather radioactive. Can't see it very well on camera, but the hands are actually pretty damn bent. Okay, shield open. So just over 300 counts per minute. Now switching to gamma. And 
and uh, just about 0.1 milli rubens per hour. Okay, so uh, I forgot something, so I'll be right back, but uh, you'll just see it as a skip in the footage, so it's still the same video for you, so I'll be right back. <clears throat> Alright, so my last item is a U.S. military compass surplus uh, I got from an estate. And uh, you can see it's made by Waltham, which the company is the Waltham Watch Company, which went long out of business. Is sorry, is long out of business. And now what's left of the company makes uh, clocks for like flight aviation things. And this is so active. The probe is a good uh, four or five inches away, and uh, you can see it's around point one of Rankins per hour. This thing has a ton of radium on it. So I move the lens back. Sorry for the glare and the lens is kind of frosted. Alright, so there's radium on the lens as a <clears throat> and uh, there's the dial. So north is that triangle. And then there's east and west. And there's no south. And now finally there's radium back there. That's so you'd be able to read it at night. Uh, <clears throat> Alright, so at night, you can still view the radium on the dial. Or, I mean on the bezel ring. And uh, you can see the back. Sorry, wrong end. Uh, so you can see the stuff back here, but it's not bright enough to read it. And you can still clearly see which way is north. <clears throat> Sorry if I sound boring right now, please don't leave the video, it's almost over. Alright, so, let me just turn the bezel ring so we get a bit higher of a reading. And it's maxed out the Geiger counter, in times one. So the times two. Or I mean times ten, out already. Sorry for my mistake. Alright, times 100. This is where it gets interesting. So it's at just about, th just over 3,000 counts per minute. But I can, uh, well, uh try measuring it this way. Oh, uh, this actually has a radium, radioactive warning, because they knew about the dangers of radium back then. Let's try measuring it slightly differently. Should turn it up, down. Hmm. Maxed out quicker that time. Not, sorry. Okay, now to measure the gamma only. Okay, times 10. For gamma radiation, we appear to be getting a, between 2 and 3 millirunkens per hour. Okay, now I'm going to show you these under a black light. And then there will be some radiation safety info. Thanks for staying with me for so long. See ya. Okay, so here are the watches under a black light. So this is the one missing a lot of the radium. So you can now you can truly really see what what it's missing and how much it has. This is the clock. 
this one will hold its glow really long, and some of these will only hold it for about a minute before it starts to fade, or like this one will only hold it for a second. Now, how long it takes for it to fade depends on the amount of zinc sulfide that it still remains. <clears throat> okay, so now here's some info on radiation safety. Thanks for watching.